Hello, welcome to C++ Made Easy tutorial number 10. And what we're going to be making is a little program. We'll just call it the star program. So let me zoom in here. So what, what we're basically going to make it do is a user input a number. And according to the number, we're going to put the number beside it plus the amount of stars beside the number they entered. So I don't know didn't even sound right so I'll show you an example say they entered 5 the output should look like this uh, and if you don't know what this is um, these are co a commented block so when you put one slash and a star then you enter a star and a slash everything within that becomes a comment if you don't know what a comment is a comment is something that's ignored by the compiler it's just to make a note to yourself or to the user so nothing in here everything in there is just ignored so anyways the output so the output of 5 the output should look like this and I got this idea of somebody but it's good because it will show you um how to use while loops and for loops we're gonna you can use just for loops or just while loops in this, but we're going to be using while loops and for loops. And you can probably use do while loops in this, but we're going to use a common while and for loops just to get used to the functions. So if you want to try this on your own to test your skills, then pause the video right now and make the program. Then run it, run this video when you're done your program just to test it out to see if it's the same as mine or if it's different than mine then you'll learn two different ways to do it or if there's something wrong with your program you can watch mine and see how you can fix it okay so the people that are watching this um, that are still watching this we're gonna make a variable called num because we want the person to input a number and as we said in earlier tutorials you always wanna put in a prompt so please enter a number if you want to get fancy you can put something like um welcome to the star program i know it's called the asterisk but star sounds better so wel welcome to the star program please enter number send num so we're getting num from the user so using this we're going to make our while loop so I'm going to put while num is greater than 0. So basically it's going to loop until it reaches 0 and then when it reaches 0 then the loop stops and you'll see why we did this. And inside it and we're going to put co num right? And in after this we're going to put a for loop and name the variable name whatever you want put in to initialize it and make sure it's equal to num and then we're gonna put while i is greater than zero and then i minus minus and then we're gonna see out the star so basically what this does is one that checks if the num is greater than zero then it's gonna put the number then it's going to go through a loop and remember a for loop is a counted loop so it's going to go through this the amount of times it says so so if num is equal to 5 then it will loop it 5 times right so it's going to go put a star then go back to the top put a star 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 the amount of times that you put in for the number then at, since we only have one statement we don't need to put brackets so after this, we're gonna put count end line. So then we put we have a new line for our next number, and then we're gonna put um what was it again? Oh yeah, we're gonna put num minus minus, and if that that is also equal to num equals num minus one or num minus equals one. They're all the same thing. So what we basically did is lower one. So each time it loops, each time it goes through, num is always lowered by one each time 
until it is equal or less than to zero, then the program will end. So let's run this. Enter a number of five. And voila, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one. And that is how you make the star program. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment. Or if you like this video, leave a comment. The more you rate or thumbs up or comment and subscribe, the more I'm motivated to make videos. Um, because I'm making so many different tutorials like OpenGL, Allegro, and C++ and stuff that, um, it's kind of hard to focus on one thing but if you leave a comment in these videos I'll mainly focus on these videos so I'll make more of these so if you comment then I'll make more so and more frequently so thanks and bye